we were wondering uh, about this hole right here. We were wondering what its purpose was. And Ed's machine commented and told us that this is how they drill the two filter oil passage into the oil filter boss. Thanks, Ed's machine. Of course, as inquisitive as we are over here, we immediately asked the question, how did they drill the from filter oil passage? And our answer is it's right here. This pipe plug in this hole right here. Is where they drill it. You remove the pipe plug and that passage goes into the vertical oil passage where if you remember at the top of that passage is the fitting for the oil pressure gauge behind the distributor on a Gen 1. Having the pipe plug removed from this area from the from filter oil passage it allowed a lot more light into the area and we found a little tidbit of information let's see what we got The 332nd aluminum rod is clearly visible at the base of the number 5 oil feed. And if that is in the vertical passage, which it is, it's got a lot of oil pressure forcing it up to the bearing through the feed. You can see the aluminum rod. This is the hole the pump sends the oil through to the filter. We blend this area on the number five cap to help the oil move along. This is the 1969-302-Z28 small block Chevy windage tray. You can see here the studs that hold the windage tray. GM discontinued the original Z28 windage tray studs. And I think that part number was 3896512 if I can remember correctly. And you can't get them from GM anymore. But Speedway does sell them under part number 910-15090 for $60. And, um, you know, whether you buy new or just reuse your old ones in conjunction with these, 910-15090, is where you would be for, say, 1969Z28302 which incidentally, a lot of high performance parts were developed for this motor in road racing and drag racing, all kinds of things. However, we've elected to use 234-5601. Uh, those are ARP small block Chevy main cap stud kit with windage tray, like you see here. Um, the issue is clamping force and how studs make it more constant during operation. The other reasons are 
we love to experiment and we are going to rev 7,000 in this motor and uh, we hope <laughs> so one important note about this stud kit is part number 234-5601 as I mentioned and um, their instructions say to use ARP fastener lubrication that is very important to achieve uh, uniform torquing. Now only uh, you know your engine way better than anybody else. And if your mill revs five grand and it's out of camshaft, then you don't need studs. If you rev 7,000 or higher, change over. But both applications should have uh, windage trays. I think you're full of dog doo-doo.